Looking back into the archives of the class of 2021, there was a trend that I began to notice. We seem to be the class of farewells. Our class was the last class to ever grace the old Baylor Dining Hall. Our class graduated middle school with the retirement of the legendary Mr. Hubs. Our class had the greatest luck of saying goodbye to the no more PE in high school or no class after AP exam sort of privileges. Today, we also say farewell to Rev Scott and our headmaster, Mr. Wilson, both of whom have significantly impacted Baylor School. They rank among the most accomplished and memorable classes of my career. Their achievements are obvious. From their college acceptances to winning a remarkable 11 state championships this year, these students have excelled across the full spectrum of Baylor's extraordinary program. Their average SAT scores are among the highest in school history. They are really bright. They've earned service academy appointments in state and even national academic accolades across almost every academic discipline. But lest you think that these students were all study, work, and practice, and no time to play, let me dispel you of that notion as well. In a year when we needed to laugh, these students did their part. They made mullets a popular hairstyle again, something that's near and dear to my heart. They brought spirit back to our sidelines this spring. But mostly, they embraced each moment and each other in a powerful way. Baylor is a large and diverse place, and these seniors reflect that reality. Still, as the year passed, their appreciation for Baylor and each other only grew. They may have begun the year as 181 seniors, but they graduate today as a class. And that reality was made all the clearer to me this past week on the senior trip and at Spring Flame. In all honesty, I am not prepared to say goodbye to this class. The memories I've made, the connections I've formed, and the friendships that I've fostered, I hold them dear to my heart, and I'm not ready to let them go. So, on this day of farewells, let us all remember that this warmth we cherish in our hearts is something we will never say farewell to, whether it be one year, 10 years, or 20 years in the future. Like a dandelion whose seeds disperse into an open field, each seed beginning its own beautiful flower bed, we are headed towards places all around the world where we will extend our roots once more, blossom and impact countless lives around us. However, just as how each of these seeds was born from one dandelion, we are all united in that we share a home called Baylor. Through this shared root, may we reflect on all that we have given each other during our time here and find consolation on this day of farewells, new beginnings, and celebration. Let us all continue to reminisce on our high school years, continue to make a positive difference in the world, and continue to share comfort and joy with one another. Personally, I will cherish many memories of this class. I want to thank you seniors for helping to make my last year at Baylor so special. I'm proud to graduate with you. So ladies and gentlemen, I present you a very special class of young men and women. To the members of the class of 2021, thank you for all you have given Baylor School. Godspeed and go Big Red.